How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Gary's Mod video and today we're going to take a look at three new additions to the amazing V-Minit mod. And of course this is going to be the first one. This is Aaron's ping system and it uses v -minip, which as you guys know is kind of like a first person animation mod where it gives you some cool animations based on weapons you have. And if you have regular Half-Life 2 weapons, you'll even take your hand off the weapon to do said animation. And I mean, we've covered this ad nauseum. I will put a video in the top right corner that does cover all the V-Minute mods up to that point. Really good video and showcases just how awesome this mod can be. But this mod is going to give you, well, pings. And check this out. The pings will even stick onto the NPC that you aim on. So for instance, like Odessa, if I wanted to kill him because he's a target, well, you can ping that. Or maybe there's an item over here that I don't know what it is. Well, I can put a question mark. And I do wonder if my teammates can also see these pings. Okay, so you can see it says enemies are missing. So, this one is you found supplies. This one is just marking a location, which does make sense. It's kind of your most typical waypoints. This one is attacking this position. And then this one is defending this position. So, all of this will show up in chat. You guys can't see it because sadly it is cut off on screen. But it will be in the chat area, so if you're playing with friends, then it's going to let them know exactly what you mean. So overall, a really cool mod. Like, we have asking for assistance. This one says want to look here. Oh, and then we also have spotted the enemy. So that's pretty cool. It's a bit different than the other ones. In fact, I think we should spawn in some combine here. So if I were to mark them, now we know exactly who the enemy is. Not that we really had any doubt. But still, it's good to know exactly where they are. And again, if you're playing with friends, now they're going to be able to see them as well. Once again, super easy, just make sure that you do mark them. What the hell, Barney? Why didn't you get down there? So we did take a look at a ping system not that long ago where you just point and it does kind of highlight an enemy. This is a bit more advanced than that because we also get a distance tracker showing you how many meters you are away from said location. And as I said previously, yes, it does follow them. So even when you move the target, it's going to let you know exactly where they are. And hey, if you don't want to open up that sub menu, then you can also bind some of these standard interactions. Like for instance, now X is automatically going to be target enemy, which is going to be what most people probably want. And of course you can do that with every other command as well. All of this is going to be in the description of the mod. Definitely check it out. Next up, we have the Quick Grenade. Now guys, I do want to say that all of these do require you to bind things. If you guys don't know how to bind, simply go into the console, type bind, the key you want to bind it to, and then the command. And all the commands is going to be in the description of each of these respective mods, just so you guys know. So for instance, for this one, I binded it to G because, well, it's the Quick Grenade mod. And we have taken a look at this, in fact, I think way back, yeah, in the original V-Minute video, which I will put that in the top right corner. But you're gonna notice the animation looks so much better like it is leagues above what the original was now it is always going to be a frag but there is other mods out there for v minute for like quick flash or honestly just a bunch of other mods so it's pretty cool stuff and it does come in handy because now while you're shooting you can go ahead and launch grenades at the same time now you do have to make sure that you have enough grenades, even though they don't look anything like this. Now that we have enough grenades, we can simply toss these as much as we want. Although, definitely be careful with how far it goes, because these things bounce. Wait, can you cook them? Oh, you can cook the grenade! Okay, so... I would definitely recommend cooking the grenade, and there we go! Pretty cool stuff. And this is definitely going to come in handy when you want to do some tactical stuff. For instance, this guy. I can see he's pretty far away, so I don't want to cook it too much. But I also want to cook it enough to where it'll still hit him when I throw it. Alright, this should be the last one. Here we go. Nice, not bad. So this one is kind of a minor one because, well, this mod already does exist. But, you know what? The thing I love about this is it looks so much better than the original that I would rather just get this one anyway. Alright, and this next one is going to be, well, D-Spray. Now, okay, technically it's just the animation, but we're going to use D-Spray because D-Spray is going to be extremely handy here because it's going to let us choose more than just one spray at a time, and that animation you saw there is what v is going to be doing. So how to do this is it's pretty simple. Go into D-Spray's GUI. This is going to open up the user interface, and then, well, to simply add a new image, go onto Google, find the image's URL, paste it into here, 
and just like that there you go and, and let's say you want it to be huge well we can adjust the size to be as big as possible you can also give it a label if you want like i'll call this one freeman and then you know you could choose if it's like a static picture or some kind of animated web image anything like that some cool options here and the best thing is is that it's extremely basic so as you can see like we got you know some settings we can change here but nothing really all that crazy once you're good to go simply walk up press the key for your spray or hold it down more so and then there it is that was the image that i selected now actually picking oh there we go okay so hold left click and you can shuffle through all your images and it, it might take some time to load but there you go we now have the head crab image that I searched for. All right, so I did go ahead and add a few more images. I don't know if they're going to work. Oh my God, no way. Okay, so this one, <laughs> this one is an animated image and it, it worked. It's actually animated. That is so cool. So I did have to go ahead and select the animated web page selection instead of being static. You might have to do that to make sure that the animation does work. Wow, this is an old one because I know exactly what this shirt is. It's a Sleeping With Sirens shirt and I still had my old dresser that I threw out years ago. So that's pretty cool. So animated images do work, although we also got the good OG Necros Videos logo and that I want it to be big and proud. But there you guys go, a very basic mod, but still something that is extremely useful because, well, sprays have been a huge part in Gary's Mod for a long time. And I never knew about D-Spray until now, but this is definitely the essential spray mod. And that was three brand new additions to the V-Minute mod system. Really is, in my opinion, one of the best mod bases that there is, because it just makes Gary's Mod feel so much more immersive. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. As always, links will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching until the end, and until next time, farewell.